What's up, people? We're back at the shop. I'm about to go ahead and uh, get my uh, diffuser and brake light to work, I guess. Um, yeah, we're gonna finally get that on. But oh, I forgot to show you guys that uh, I got the rear spoiler on here now. I took the old one off, put a different one on. Hopefully this is on pretty good. I don't know, I wanna make sure. I haven't really checked it. It freaking snowed and shit. So, trying to make sure it's on pretty good still. I guess it has has a little bit of play, that's cool. But yeah, what you guys think? That's the uh, Carbon Import V3 rear spoiler, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it looks pretty mean. I feel like I feel like it complements the uh, diffuser a lot because um, it sticks out a little bit more. Because the diffuser I got from Can Auto Performance, it sticks out a lot, which gives it an, an aggressive look, and I really like that. So I had to change the spoiler to give it a better look. I don't know if you guys can kind of see, but you see what I mean? Gives it a nicer. I mean, it kind of goes well together. I don't know. That's in my opinion. Everybody's different, I guess. But um, we'll try to get the. Uh, brick light to work because a lot of people have been asking me about it um i almost forgot about it to be honest the weather here sucks as you guys can tell so it's just like i didn't really feel like taking action on it yet but let's go ahead and try to figure this shit out so what do you guys think look at this crv though damn big ass muffler tip boy the wheels on there spiky spiky old school shit five speed i think this thing needs like a head gasket or something like that but i'm about to start my thing up real quick Dad, i left this car here like the whole weekend Yeah, I need some washer fluid. I wonder if Brad have some washer fluid for me. Shit's low, I forgot. Uh, we will be putting on the uh, ECS exhaust soon. Stay tuned for that, guys. Find one of these nights, open lift so I can get my car in, put the exhaust on, make sure we do it right, and then uh, I'll show you guys how the car sound like. I'm excited. I can't wait, actually. I think it's gonna sound really good. I'm hoping, at least. But she's kind of quiet right now. I took off the uh, freaking crackle tune file because a lot of people are coming at me. And yes, I know that it, I know that it is bad for my engine if uh, if I don't have test pipes. So um, yeah, I took that file off. I flashed it back to a uh, regular stage one map. Um, I will be going stage two or do a pulley soon, so stay tuned for that. Don't worry about that. Look at this old school. I think this is uh, Jason's old project car. That's crazy, bro. Damn, look at the gas cap in this thing, bro. This shit ancient. Looks like a doorknob. Volkswagen. That's crazy, bro. This shit old school as fuck. And it's a four, no five speed. High speed on this thing, bro. Those bug eyes. Antique vehicle, look at that. That's crazy. Probably got a 2J in this thing, huh? Fuck. It is what's holding it on. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey. I don't want that. I'm glad it's fucking ice skating away. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta make it work, right? Actually, actually, we need to go get the whole thing. Damn, that's how they. That's what we need. We need our bumper. That's how some dude fucked this damn U-Haul bumper up in there. And all hardware to attach the bell. Hey, he made it work though. Made it work. Look at that. He, yo, I'd say he's pretty clever, though. <laughs> You're able to adjust it and all, dude. You can let the bumper hang a little bit, or you can... 
and make it look really flush. Some zip ties over here in action, you see? <laughs> the shit the people, people who rent these things? Yeah. Horrible. So the dude fucked it up and tried to put it back together like that? Yeah. Dickhead! Oh, hell nah! You're going down, boy! Alright, so I have my water kind of like tucked behind here for the third brake light. So I have it tucked behind here. I might just take this light out real quick. And it's just this one, I don't know if you guys can see it, but one piece here. And it comes, oh shit, fuck me. I almost lost it. This one holds the tail light. <laughs> It just comes out pretty much. You need two hands. All right, now I'm gonna let Master Tech take a visual look. So I have the wires right here, taped it off. So that's the three color. Yeah, so um, when you guys are doing this, when you're when you're laying underneath, you can kind of see through. Um, I, the wires are long enough, so I just kind of like stuck it up enough to where I can kind of see it up here. And, um, uh, bring it to this side this is the driver's side I don't know which side to do it on I guess the driver's side would probably be like a better way or something I don't know I guess you can kind of bring it to the passenger side or driver's side but yeah um you be able to wire it through your bumper here and it'll come out to one of these sides um, we just gotta figure out what wires we're gonna put this into which I don't know and I'm not gonna ask what I know, so I'm gonna fuck something up. But Master Tech will figure it out. Get it out. Doo doo. And this dirty. Cut me a break, people. It's winter here. Can't keep it clean all the time. I guess the black is a brown, right? Most likely. Hey! This one's parking. That's bright. So he's checking the harness. Parking light on. Yeah, light for All right, let me see. Let me see. Is it on? Yes. Want me to hold on to it? Left brake light signal. So the black wire from the diffuser goes to the brown on your brake light and that is the ground wire and the red which is the brake wire goes to the dark gray with black lines on the connector harness and the yellow is the parking wire goes to the light gray with white lines on the harness. So uh, 
hopefully that works out for you guys and um, don't forget to like the video so the black goes to the brown on this driver's side on this here and he's not cutting it completely off he's just cutting off like the plastic wrap on the outside and um, connecting the wires to the harness not completely cutting the harness like green And I knew he'll figure it out. Uh, my bad, guys. But yeah, we gotta figure it out now. I almost forgot about it. But uh, hopefully, this is helpful for you guys. Um, go, uh, go DM him and thank him if you guys wanna uh, give a thank you. I didn't do it. <laughs> Brad, man, master tech. <laughs> let's see how this actually looks like. Let me shut that trunk real quick. Hey, that looks sick. We live and direct. So that's just regular, and then when you hit the brakes, it gets brighter. That's lit. Hit that brake again. Hey, we live and direct. All right, all set. I think it looks really good. I don't know if, I mean, I guess it all comes down to your preference. Um, I feel like that gives the booty a little bit of a, a nice little touch. My uh, diffuser, spoiler, and then the lights there. All comes, it complements each other in a way. Oh yeah, and um, carbon imports, V3 spoiler, I guess you call it. Um, definitely complements the uh, diffuser. Uh, yeah, I should have, sorry I didn't make a video putting that on, but I mean, it's pretty easy to put on and common mod, I guess, but I wish you guys think, does it complement the uh, diffuser a little bit? I feel like it kind of matches a little bit, give it a little bit more aggressive look, in a way. But yeah, pretty content. For this thing to freaking idle. How look back there? Look nice? Nice. Alright, so here how it looks like in the outside. It's getting a little dark out now. So yeah. What you guys think? Pretty good, right? She needs to go clean up and we'll be good to go. But yeah, that'll be it, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully that was helpful. Peace out.